Hey there, viewers! How to put on muscle mass as a teenager As a teenage boy going out for sports or trying to impress someone special, you may long for a little extra muscle mass. A bigger frame can build confidence and enhance performance in sports, including football and wrestling. And your hormones at this age give you a muscle-building advantage. Just make sure you make smart choices when it comes to your diet and workout routines. In this video, we will learn about how you can put on muscle mass as early as your teenage years, like proper workout and diet. Ready to build muscles? Continue watching the video. Number 1. Disciplined Eating Just because you have these amazingly resilient young bodies doesn't mean you can get away with poor diet choices. To build muscle, you will need to consume protein-rich meals that consist of chicken, beef, pork, fish, or eggs. For energy, you can pair your meat with some brown rice or whole wheat pasta. If you have difficulty gaining weight, you can increase your carbs slowly every meal. Toss your fruits and vegetables into the mix that will help with fiber to complete your nutrition. A simple rule of thumb is to have three square meals planned for the day, along with two smaller snacks that can bookend your training, pre- and post-training. As a teen, it can get confusing and frustrating to get caught up in the weeds and track every calorie. Just eat quality nutrient-dense foods such as meats, fish, turkey, eggs, milk, chicken, cheeses, rice, pasta, potatoes, oats, fruits, vegetables, and plenty of water. Try not to think too much into it. Eat a sensible balanced diet and monitor your weight. If you're not gaining weight on a monthly basis, up your calories a bit. And if you're gaining too much fat, cut back a little. A sample daily menu could look as simple as this. It's nothing fancy, but it will give you a solid starting point to adjust later. Breakfast One bowl of oatmeal or healthy whole grain cereal with milk, banana, and a glass of milk. Lunch One or two turkey sandwiches on wheat bread, piece of fruit, or granola bar. Afternoon, one bowl of oatmeal or whole grain cereal, or a sandwich with natural peanut butter and a glass of milk. Post-workout, protein shake. Dinner, chicken, beef, or fish with pasta, rice, or potatoes, and green vegetables. To make healthy gains, basic nutrition concepts should be applied. If you have weight to lose, you need proper fuel for workouts and growing, but also need to be at a calorie deficit. Real quick, hit that like button and let's get back into it. Number 2. Train with a goal As a teen, you should train for the right reasons. Middle and high school students should train to increase their strength and improve their physical fitness, body composition, and sports performance, while reducing their injury risk. They should not aim to bulk up by trying to lift weights. A good teen weight training program focuses on toning muscles with lighter weights and a higher number of repetitions. Bulking up is only appropriate for young adults who have passed through puberty. Training volume, loads, frequency, and recovery all need to be considered to get the most from your training. But here's the caveat. Don't overthink things. Gaining muscle isn't rocket science. All you need is a logical, sane approach when designing a program. No special bells and whistles are required, just basic multi-joint exercises combined with a progression mindset. As with most things in life, moderation usually prevails, and that goes for your training as well. Strength training and resistance training is where it's at. It is a must-do to turn your muscle dreams into reality. However, don't make the mistake of aggregating all the weightlifting information you see on the internet or in magazines. Try building a solid program first with the help of a certified personal trainer, and one that's adept at handling young trainees like you. One which will consist of bench presses, deadlifts, squats, shoulder presses, and the like. Your trainer will be able to guide you and ensure you have the right form when performing your bodyweight routines. You have to remember, though, that teens should focus more on the repetitions and pacing rather than on how heavy you can lift. You don't want to struggle during your workouts. Instead, you want them to challenge your physicality. Practicing with more reps will hone your body's adeptness to motor patterns while slowly but surely building muscle mass. Number 3. Calm Your Ego When you walk into a gym, you probably can't help but gawk at the muscular physiques of these seemingly professional bodybuilders around you. Someday, sooner, you say to yourself. However, avoid the urge to go straight to doing all the heavy lifting routines by taking it one step at a time. 
It's okay to dream big, but you should know your limitations. If you succumb to your ego, you are unwittingly setting yourself up for disappointment, if not failure. Worse, you can injure yourself unnecessarily, which is what happens not only to teen muscle builders, but also to adult individuals who think hastening the process and taking shortcuts to achieve their goals will do the trick. A good way to start your path to muscle growth is to hone your basic movements before anything else. This means you will take perfunctory actions up a notch like carrying heavy stuff, pushing and pulling loads, holding your squats, etc. These help you lay a good exercise foundation before you start pounding on at the gym. From the start, you must focus on form, function, and try your best to feel movements, rather than just lift objects from point A to point B. You will still get results, but you'll also get better function, fewer muscle pulls and pain, and better long-term gains. If your goal is to gain muscle, increase strength, and create a body to be proud of, you will have to push yourself beyond your comfort zone but not at the expense of risking injury, shortchanging your form and limiting your range of motion. Number four, recover as hard as you train. One of the more common mistakes for many teenagers is the lack of consistency in how they sleep and recover. As with diet, one or two days of adequate rest per week just won't cut it. Proper rest and recovery should be viewed as a daily, weekly and monthly practice, not something that can be made upon the weekends. Shoot for seven to nine hours of quality rest per night. To help make sure that happens, shut down your electronic devices an hour or two before bed. Recovery is the hidden secret to progress. This shouldn't be a green light for you to be lazy. Even on rest days, it will benefit you to stay active in an extracurricular activity or other recreational endeavors. Sitting on the couch binge watching your favorite shows isn't exactly optimal for the purposes of growing muscle. Number five, be responsible. Before any teens embark on a weight training program, they should get a physical exam. Once the doctor has given the okay to begin, find a weight training instructor who understands the special needs of adolescents. Because the skeleton isn't mature until the early 20s, too much weight can stress the joints and ligaments and may separate growth plates or damage joints in other ways. Adult weight training programs should not be used for teens because these can be too strenuous and repetitious. Number six, enjoy what you're doing. If the process is no longer fun, find something else to do. You shouldn't feel like going to the gym is a job. Yes, there will be days when you feel like you're dragging yourself through those doors and need a shot of adrenaline just to warm up. But if those days outnumber the great days, then you need to look at your rest and recovery habits, adjust your volume and intensity, or reevaluate your motivation. It's not worth the time, effort, and dedication if you dread the process. Don't be a prisoner to the gym. Don't quit either. There's always a way to adjust your training in such a way to meet both what you need to do and what you enjoy doing. Try not to overthink this whole gaining strength and muscle thing. Adopt a few sound principles of quality training and good nutrition, consistently work hard, and have a blast doing it. The power is in your hands, do it the right way, and you'll develop habits to last a lifetime. Injuries are more likely to occur when you compete to see who can do reps the most. And when you do reps inappropriately, it can strain developing bones and muscles. Are you ready to put on that muscle mass? Comment below what you want to learn next. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. For more interesting facts on the human body, subscribe to the channel. Here are two more videos you should check out, both of them will definitely help you reach your goals.